Hey all, happy Monday. In today's three minute coffee break coaching session, I want to talk about feedback. If you're a manager managing staff or you have to give difficult feedback to a colleague or even a client, then this lesson should be useful for you. When you're giving feedback, how much time do you actually spend thinking about where the other person is and are they actually receptive to your feedback? Well, if you have never done that and you are assuming that the person is receptive to your feedback, then half the time you're going to feel like you're talking to a brick wall and your message is not getting through to them. And that's because the person we're giving feedback to can be in one of five places. So let's just explore those five areas. The first area is denial. And when someone's in denial, they're going to be sitting there thinking or saying, well, I don't know why you're talking to me. This has got nothing to do with me. You're wrong. And clearly when someone's thinking like that, you're not going to have a very productive conversation and you certainly can't set any action plans to move them forward. The second stage they could be in is resistance. And when someone's in resistance, they're going to be saying or thinking, I hear what you say, but you don't understand or you don't you don't know the details. So they're going to be in that very resistant space. And again, there's no point trying to move forward or set any kind of actions. The third space they could be is a place of acceptance. And when someone's in a place of acceptance, you're going to see their body language changing from a very closed body language to maybe slumped shoulders. And they're going to say, oh, OK, you've got a point. What can I do about it? And only when someone is at a place of acceptance can we start actually discussing action plans and setting short-term objectives to move them forward. Now, the fourth place they can be after acceptance is exploration. And in an exploration stage, someone's going to say, OK, you've got a point. What can I do about it? And now we can start to set short and medium-term goals and you're going to have a very collaborative conversation. And then the final stage someone can be is in implementation. So this is where they've accepted your feedback, you've explored with them things they can do, and now you've set short and medium and even long-term goals, and they're going away and they're implementing what they've learned, and hopefully they're applying it to other areas. So you can see that if you're giving feedback to someone, you need to be really mindful about where the other person is and modify your communications accordingly because they're, if they're in stages one or two, that's denial or resistance, there's little point trying to move the conversation forward and instead you have to use evidence, be very directive to shift them from denial to resistance and then finally to acceptance. And when someone's at acceptance, you can start exploring short-term goals that they can go away and start implementing. I hope this quick snapshot of feedback has been really useful for you. If you visit the link below, you can see more details about my leadership and management course, which covers this and many other topics that help you become a fantastic manager.